It's kind of crazy how many times I've ended up talking about a device that isn't even available in the region that most of my, or the regions that most of my viewership lives in. But we're going to talk about the Galaxy Z Fold Special Edition, uh, at least this one more time. There was a lot of speculation around this device once the specifications were fully known and completely unveiled, you know, how well would this thing sell? Obviously, they are launching it in South Korea and later in China, and the specifications, while they are better than the standard Z Fold 6, because it is thinner, it is lighter, the primary camera is better, it's a 200 megapixel sensor instead of the 50 megapixel sensor that the Z Fold 6 came with. You can see here the reduction in that thickness you have a larger set of screens, a wider cover display. We have to acknowledge that this thing is launching in regions that are pretty well dominated right now by foldables from other OEMs like Huawei and Xiaomi and Honor. Uh, lots of really, really good foldables over there that are, you know, coming out with specifications that are better than this phone in a lot of ways and at a cheaper price. So a lot of us just kind of wonder, like, you know, look, we get it. We get that in these regions, they want huge screens and thin devices. So you're delivering that. How well is this thing going to sell up against that incredibly, incredibly tough competition? Well, we have this article from SammyFans.com, and they actually have Something interesting here. So apparently when this device finally did go on sale, I wonder if I can actually see this here. Yeah, all prepared stock has been sold out. Apparently it sold out in about 10 minutes. Now we do not know how many units we are talking about, right? They might have only had a very small volume ready to be sold and that's what sold out. We just don't know exactly. But what we can say is that what Samsung maybe hoped or expected to sell they did sell in a very, very fast, short duration. Of course, with situations like that, you also have to talk about something called the scarcity principle, right? Where you basically make it so that there's less of a product available. You generate artificial scarcity to increase the interest in the device. More people are going to want it because it seems rare. Maybe that's what they're trying to do. Maybe that's what's going on there. But at the end of the day, what we know didn't happen is that this thing went for sale and everyone yawned and no one wanted it. It did at least sell out very rapidly. If you're taking the best possible interpretation of this, it is that when Samsung delivers what people have been asking for for years, people do want to buy it. When you give them the better primary camera sensor, they'll buy it. When you give them the larger screens, the wider cover display, the thinner device, the lighter device, they'll buy it. That would be the best interpretation in favor of Samsung. Now, like I said, this device is not launching in North America and Europe. It's just South Korea and then China at a later date. But I do want to remind you, maybe you saw this video already. I'll put the full video in the description down below. But it does appear, according to a report from Galaxy Club, that there are, again, two more Z Fold 7 devices coming based on these code names. There's a Q7 and a Q7M. The special edition Z Fold 6 was the Q6A. So Q7M is not just next year's special edition unless it's next year's special edition and it's going to launch in additional regions. That could explain the change in the code name. I basically gave you the short version of the video that is in the description, but if you want more context, that video is down there. One additional snippet in this article that might give us some indication that this wasn't sort of artificially generated scarcity, although it still could be that, but I guess it kind of leans a bit more in the opposite direction, is that it says, Samsung intended to supply devices to carriers that day, but failed to do so given stock shortages. So they were unable to get stock to carriers in South Korea for this launch. Everything they had sold out straight through their official website. Again, they could have done that intentionally as well, but you do want to get devices to your carriers. So I guess if you're going to generate scarcity and you do it to the degree that your carriers don't even get devices, you are pushing that pretty far. But I do kind of want to hear from you guys. What do you think is going on here? Do you think that this thing 
just seems like it's kind of popular. Keep in mind, it's launching in South Korea. That is Samsung's home country. Maybe they just really are into this phone in South Korea. It's the biggest, the baddest Z Fold ever. So maybe people are just excited. I don't know. I want to hear what you guys think in the comments. And do you think that this bodes well and is maybe an indicator that my speculation that this Q7M device might be a globally launching Z Fold 7 Special Edition. Maybe this sort of gives some credence to that. Hey, maybe this Special Edition is going to be a bit more of a success than people thought, and they might want to launch it globally. Let me know in the comments down below, guys. Thanks for watching. Subscribe for more content like this, and until next time, stay nerdy, my friends.